You know, most, it's funny, a lot of people can't see the beautiful colors that we see right now because color blindness, blindness is a common condition that is usually present at birth but not often recognized until much later on in life. So here helping us uh, realize how we can find this in our children is Dr. JJ. I want to say welcome. Um, welcome. I, I, color blindness just means you can't see color, right? No, it means that you can see a range of colors but they not, may not be what you actually perceive. So we have areas of our eye, we've got a graphic here I want to show you. They're called rods and cones and cones are responsible for color vision. Rods are responsible for night vision and black and white vision. Cones are composed of red perception, green perception, and blue perception. Mm -hmm. And they should give us the full spectrum of color that we see. But if you're missing some or part or all of your cones, you're going to have a great alteration of what your brain sees. How do we find this in our kids? I yeah, can't imagine. Can we, well, it runs in family. So if families have color blindness, we sometimes will suspect it when kids do things like smell their food because they can't distinguish the colors between, oh, wow. say, oh. peas and carrots. Oh. If they're coloring with the wrong crayon, if they, uh, if bright lights bother them because bright light seems to really wash out any way that you can distinguish things, uh -huh. they may not be able to sort colors in school. And so we can suspect that uh, whether you have it in your family or not, but actually one out of 12 males has color blindness, whereas only one out of 200 females does. Oh. So we certainly see it more in, in our male children. Um, what, what, when a person is colorblind, what does a, a person see? Okay, so this is an intriguing thing, and actually online, there are color blindness simulators. So first of all, let's just look at like a typical day in, in a life of a kid. Crayons are part of what you do at school, yes. right? And street lights, we teach our kids yeah. to cross the street safely, red, yellow, green. Now, if you are red, green, colorblind, which is the most common, it's 92% of those who are colorblind. This is what you would see in your crayon box. If you were asked wow. to pick out the pink elephant, you can't do it. Oh, wow. That All you see is shades of blue and green. And even more significant is if you're asked to cross the street and there's a red light on, this kid sees this. How does a person drive? Right, so, yeah. I mean, as an adult, you might recognize a flashing the light, light there, yeah. but for a kid in whom you're really trying to treat, teach street safety, this can be very hazardous. So there's really very little to distinguish a red light. A green light might show up as something uh, uh, grayish, and a yellow light might show up a little bit more distinctly, but this is a very important thing. And then we can show the red, I, I mean the, the uh, blue, yellow color blindness, mm -hmm. quite the opposite, where life is pretty rosy and green, mm -hmm. but the blues and purples wash out yeah. and they, in, in essence, look like they're brown. So your street lights, uh, easier, if we right? could appreciate it, we we could say they look pink and blue to us. Right. At least they can distinguish top, middle, and bottom. Yeah. But it's the most common, the red-green, that yeah. really is at the most risk. Well, how do we test for it? Okay, so testing for it, in the past we had what were called Ishihara cards, which had numbers or letters embedded in fields of dots. Okay. But now we have something called color vision testing made easy, and we've got a graphic of this. The lovely thing about this is in three, four, or five-year-olds, before they enter school, most kids will recognize a circle, a star, or a square, and you at home, if you don't, maybe check with your eye doctor. But anyway, this works well with young children, but also people who have developmental disabilities or folks who can't read or can't um, process numbers and, and letters. And so the shapes are a lot e more easy to recognize. So we can use these as early as three years of age. Why is it important that we test for this? I'm trying so, to put that connected. I mean, connected I mean think about it. Elementary school education is color-based. Right. It really is. And so Often, children go to elementary or preschool and they're labeled as learning disabled because they can't color the right way or they get bored with coloring because it's so difficult for them to process so them or grouping colors yeah, together you know? or even lessons that are in color they can't distinguish. Aren't the teachers aware of this? They're, they're not and so they may be mislabeled. So what yes. you can do Absolutely. is actually get an individualized education plan. If you know your child has color blindness before school, we can advocate for black and white lessons, for chalk colors that they can see so that they can, they can thrive in school and not have this be uh, held against them. Is this just the hand that we have to play? Is there a way to treat this? Is there a way to correct it? I'll tell you, later in life, and my brother's a great example, he was red-green colorblind and only one eye, and he wanted to be a police officer his whole life. He couldn't pass the exam. So an ophthalmologist in our area actually made him a red lens so that he could actually perceive 
read and he was able to pass the exam and he was a cop for 35 years. That's amazing. Wow. So there are, so there are workarounds for this, yeah. except sure. for the most extreme case where people have no cones mm -hmm. and they see in black and white their entire life. Imagine that. Oh my. How food I looks, how the I'm world looks. I'm just thinking looks. of those who so work sad. in that profession and like an electrician, for example. Yes, yeah. yeah. You're trying to, don't cross the red wire. You right, know? right. right. And now or if you're yeah. an aviator yeah. or if yeah. you're a house painter. I mean, imagine yeah. well, that you would be probably. That'd be a big mistake. But you'd have shades of green or blue. Yeah, exactly. We couldn't find exactly. the right nail polish. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, <laughs>